I'm Courtney and I'm in CI2300 and I'm creating a vlog on an article I just read called Professor Video. The article is on visual, audio, and interactive media that are transforming the classroom. In today's world, technology is growing at such a fast rate. There's something new coming out every day it seems like. And kids are so exposed and are so absorbed by this new technology that they can't stay away from it. However, many teachers in the classrooms now were not exposed to that technology and they're having a difficult time bringing it into the classroom. One of the quotes from the article says that kids are so used to being on computers with multiple windows open, they research information and they're connected on different social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, play video games so they're accustomed to working in stimulated environments. And as teachers, they have not yet tapped that resource, which is their ability to work in those creative environments and learn from that experience. Hopefully, since I grew up in a generation where technology had its breakthrough, I can bring that into the classroom whenever I start teaching and I can be more in tap with my students. But it can also be difficult because it is changing every day and it can also make myself struggle with the ability to work in that creative environment. But also, you can make videos with a digital camera, a cell phone, a webcam like I'm using to make this video. You don't need to have expensive equipment or that high-end technology to be able to create video clips because it's literally right in the palm of your hand. Another quote from the article says that us humans are visual creatures and a third of our brains is devoted to vision. I completely believe that because I am a visual learner. When I started elementary school, my classroom still had chalkboards, and mostly classes were taught verbally, verbally or with pictures, and I learned best through videos, PowerPoints, charts, graphs, and photos. And now students are born digitally, and teachers are still in the analog age. Whenever I was in 8th grade, my county school system said goodbye to pencils and hello to MacBooks. I would show you it, but I'm using it. And my school system had received a grant with Apple, and now every student from 6th through 12th grade has a MacBook. And it able, it's able to let them learn more efficiently and effectively in the classroom. And this happened whenever the iPhone 4 was released, so technology was really taken off at that point. And students were so interested and so amazed by the new MacBooks. And they ha every student had one, and they used their evenings at home and learned how to use them. But however, it caused teachers who weren't really exposed to technology growing up to struggle. And I know my teachers had to attend countless workshops to learn how to simply use the MacBook and all the different websites and software that is available to help teach their students. And the last quote I'm going to end with is that a scientist at a blackboard is always writing down things at the pace the students can take notes and understand. But if you are flashing a PowerPoint slide on a screen simply showing the material students have never seen, you have to give them the time to absorb the concept before going on to the next one, especially in a subject area where one concept builds onto another. In high school, I took accelerated math classes, so I didn't quite say goodbye to the pencil yet um, because it was difficult to learn how to solve the Pythagorean theorem or an algebraic long division problem on a computer. We couldn't fully absorb that concept, so that's why we had to bring back pencil and paper. And that just shows that technology can have a downfall in some subject areas, such as math. A whole new world of technology has created multiple learning experiences that didn't even exist a decade ago and I seriously wonder how technology will be whenever I enter the classroom a couple years from now. It's changing every day and I can't wait to get in the classroom and see what new technology is out there.